All of planetary exploration to me is a story about longing. It's a longing to know ourselves. It's a longing to understand the significance of our own existence. There's never going to be another mission like it. It was the first and last of its own kind. It's the most audacious mission. Who'd have thought that we'd actually be able to do that in 1977? The spacecraft is quite primitive by modern day standards. Their total memory is about 240,000 times less than in your smartphone. They figured, don't let this opportunity pass. You're going to throw a message in a bottle into the ocean, put a message in it. The golden record really is the heartbeat of the ship itself. The greetings to the universe are almost like the first tweets. Keep it short, keep it simple. Hello from the children of planet Earth. And we have liftoff. They're traveling at 10 miles per second. You wouldn't even see it, right? And yet, it takes decades to get out there into the outer solar system. Voyager to me was Homeric, years of passing across the solar system from one planet to the other, and then it was frenzied activity and discovery and conquest. Four billion years from now, when our sun turns into a red giant, Voyager is still gonna be trucking out there through the stars. We'll still be out there. This may, in the long run, be the only evidence that we ever existed. Those cosmic questions we hope to learn by sending our machines out. Where do we come from? Are we alone? What's the universe made of? How will it end? Now, is that a grand mystery? Whoa. I'd like to know the answer. Are we alone? I'd like to know the answer to that question. <laughs>